Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up three Kanto Friends Mini Tins. These three tins feature the three basic starters from the Kanto region, or the first generation of Pokemon. Each of these Kanto Friends Mini Tins was $8.98 from Walmart. Each tin includes two Pokemon booster packs, a special collector's card, and a Pokemon coin. Now I have opened up all five Kanto Friends Mini Tins individually on my channel in the past. So everything is out of the Mini Tins. I'll show everything on the inside before I get to opening the packs. First, I'll show the back of one of the Mini Tins. You can see the artwork if you combine all five of the collector's cards inside the Tins. All three tins had the same Pokemon coin of Genesect, silver and black in color. Here are the three collector's cards. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these are damaged, plus they do not fit in a regular sleeve or top loader, a little bit disappointing. So here's the Bulbasaur, the Charmander, and then the Squirtle. And on the back, it has information about the featured Pokemon. And then the six total booster packs, three Burning Shadows, three Fates Collide. I actually purchased these mini tins again to try and pull a Charizard GX Rainbow Rare from Burning Shadows. Because of that, I'll open up Fates Collide first, an XY series set. I really do not understand why they're still putting these old packs in new products. I know why they're doing it, because they have a surplus of the packs. They should just print less packs in the future of the newer sets. They do not have to do that. Snubble starts this one. Fates Clyde is almost three years old. Fennekin, Jigglypuff, Snivy, Deerling, Warmadon, Pokemon Fan Club, Audino Spirit Link, Reverse Hollow of a Deerling, just a common. And the final card would be a Rotom. Second Fates Collide Pack. Take a look at the code. This set is based around Alakazam, as well as Mega Alakazam. Three and two is the card trick. Snubble starts this pack. Deerling. Riolu. Jigglypuff. Carbink. Wormadon. Kabuto. Loudred. Reverse Hollow of a Grumpig, which is a rare, not bad. And the final card would be an Alakazam EX, and this is an EX Full Art Secret Rare. Now you would think, this card being as hard to pull as it is, that it would be worth more. I think this card is worth less than $10 now, just because it is no longer in the standard format. But as a collector, love pulling hard to pull cards like this. Such a great card overall, love that touch of gold. It is a full art textured card and it is a secret rare. So the opening has been made, even though that card is not very valuable. Mega Alakazam on the Final Fates Collide pack. So here we have the final code card for Fates Collide. The pack starts with Diglett, Minchino, Coughing, Vullaby, Solo Sis, Last is Special, Ammonite, Devolution Spray, Reverse Solo of a Break, in an Omastar Break, not bad. And the final card would be a Moltres. A cool looking card, especially in Reverse Solo form, one of the three legendary bursts, first generation. Burning Shadows packs now, this set is based around Necrozma and Ho-Oh. It is one of the better Sun and Moon series sets. If I were to pull that Charizard GX Rainbow Rare, it is worth well over $150. I have one in my collection, had to purchase it. Esper starts the first Burning Shadows pack. Pikachu, Noibat, Dupider, Tangela, Metal Type Energy, Bouffalant, Simapore, Noctowl, Reverse Solo of a Wishful Baton, a useful tool card. This is an uncommon. And the final card would be an Electros. If only the Burning Shadows packs had similar pulls to Fates Collide. Hoping for some last pack magic, another green colored code card pack. Otherwise, the hunt will continue. It is awfully hard to pull the exact GX Rainbow Rare that you want. 
Mudbray starts this pack. Tynamo. Oddish. Duskull. Morlull. Metal type energy. Rhydon. Electric. Bufalant. Reverse Solo of a Mudbray, just a common. And the final card would be a Weavile. Rule of Evil is very good. This attack does 60 damage to each Pokemon that has an ability, both yours and your opponent's. So a great way to spread damage around. Final pack from these Kanto Friends Mini Tins. And unfortunately, I will be shut out from Burning Shadows. A little bit disappointing, but at least I did pull that Secret Rare Alakazam EX. Stuffle starts the final pack. Noibat. Sock. Esper. Pansage. Metal Type Energy. Rotom Dex. Potom, a very good stadium card. Weakness Policy. Reverse Solo of a Darkrai, a rare. And the final card would be a meow stick. So four good cards to summarize from these six packs. Definitely did better in Fates Collide as opposed to Burning Shadows. Out of these packs, I was able to pull out two rare reverse solo, Darkrai and Grumpig, one break in Omastar, and then easily the best pull, the secret rare Alakazam EX. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, Make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.